Hi, my name is Bernard Sheridan. I'm with Impact Zone Golf, and today we're going to take a look at the swing of Kevin Chappelle. And Kevin is here at Tiburon when this was taken. And we're going to see that as Kevin takes the club back, I want you to notice that that shaft stays very much out in front of him. And by the time he gets that club parallel to the ground, that club head is even with his hands there, okay? Very even. Now, if he got it real inside, that club head would be more back here behind his hands. So I see a lot of players that have a tendency to do that. They load the club up with their right hand and get it real inside. Kevin is not doing that at all. And as he moves to the top, he begins to hinge his lead hand to create that load which is dynamic number three. So all tour players do this. They all load the club by the time it gets up to the top. And then they begin to lag the club on the way down. So as he begins down, when we see that arm parallel to the ground, what we're going to see is that shaft is going to be at a 90 degree angle. If we were looking at him face on, that shaft would be at a 90 degree angle in relationship to his lead arm. Now, as he continues down, he's going to start to push off of that ground and move his hips towards the target and around. And he's maintaining that lag still. So here the club is parallel to the ground. And that club head is just behind his hand, so he's going to come right from the inside. Now, once, what I want you to notice is as he gets to impact, how we can see that back pocket there, that left back pocket showing that his workhorse has rotated into the shot. The other thing that I want you to notice here is that that lead hand is flat. That lead wrist is flat now at impact. He's going to continue to now release the club head and keep his body rotating and as he comes out of this shot to a full finish what we're going to see is that that back foot is up that heel is up and his hips are rotated and his chest is facing left of the target and his shoulder is facing at the target. This is where you want to be at the finish of your golf swing. And the other thing that I want you to notice here is by the time he's fully finished, this can really tell us that the arms and core, or the arms and the workhorse worked together. That shaft is right behind his skull, right behind the back of his skull. So, Real great swing. Congratulations on the win. And until next time, I'm Bernard Sheridan. And you can, if you'd like to see any tour player swing broken down, just email me at parbreakers at gmail.com. Give me the name of the tour player, and I'll be happy to do it and post it up here on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So until we meet again, try to keep it in the short grass. Are you tired of hitting poor shots and shooting high scores? Wouldn't it be nice to make solid, consistent contact more often? Hit more fairways off the tee and more greens with your approach shots. Lower your three putts per round and shoot lower scores consistently. Lessons with Bernard Sheridan at Impact Zone Golf at Tiburon Golf Club in Naples is the fastest way to lower your scores and start making the game fun again. Call 239-236-5536 and schedule your lesson today. Remember, if you improve your impact, you improve your game. It's that simple.